back again, uh, Ranger MJ here. Uh, thanks for such great support in a long time where I haven't done any videos. Such, well, my camera broke. <laughs> That's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, so I'm using my phone camera at the moment, and it's HD. So hopefully we can get this looking pretty good. Um, what else is there to say? Right. Um, so the miniature I have in front of me is Left Hero from Forge Ult. Um He's the Captain Master for the Astro Claws, which is an army I've just started. So there's some pretty cool stuff. Lots of really, really good conversions. Hopefully I'll put some more videos up on Astro Claws. Um, well, just to show them off. Here we go. So the actual model is resin. Um, quite fun to paint. The whole, even the base is resin, this uh, giant rock he's standing on. So, yeah. I've been experimenting with a uh, new gold. This is uh, Bellagio Old Gold. It's a uh, liquid alcohol based um, gold. It's really, really good and it gives like a really solid gold finish. So, what I did was I painted that on and then washed it with Bad Art Black and then highlighted it with Mithril Silver there. As you can see on the Imperial Eagle down there at the bottom. Um, most of the armor was done with chain mail and then like, with a heavy wash of Badak Black in some of the areas as you can see here just to add that really good clean shadow. Um, and then the areas as you can see were highlighted with Mithril Silver and then in like some of the wider areas just to give that extra sort of shine like on the knee pads there. Gives a really good metallic flavor there. Uh, on the end of the claws, really, really good. You can even see his hand inside there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So all the armor detail was done there. Uh, most of the blues were ultramarine blue, and then a 50/50 mix of ultramarine blue and skull white for like kind of a wear pattern and just for well, kind of like shading, edge highlights, things like that. Um, I'm not too happy with the back of this banner, so it does not show it that much. <laughs> um, the banner was quite hard to do this detail on the maelstrom. The area of space in which they defend is really, really thin. If anybody's got the model, they'll tell you it is really hard to paint because the detail is so close to the actual background. Um, I tried to freehand this, uh, it looks alright, I suppose. Um, we've got the Astral Claws symbol at the top there, it's kind of a, a lion grabbing a star. Um, all this is pinned, so it's easier to transport. So there you go, there's your pin, and there's the hole there. So I could even, I could just probably just use it like that if I didn't like it. That's pretty cool, eh? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Uh, the base was done as um, Codex Grey, followed by Fortress Grey, and then Shadow Grey, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, it worked out alright. Uh, these are Army Painter, I think it's Army Painter Winter Tufts on there. Some pretty cool stuff. Hey, that's good. Um, this is not the only thing. Right, as I'm doing Astro Claws, I might as well show you some of the um, bodyguards I've got to left here on. They're not completely done, they're almost done. I want to uh, just do the lenses on the eyes and on the back of the, well the lenses on the back there, I want to have finished writing on the papers, but the armor's pretty much done, it's a really nice finish, this kind of um, chain mail effect, and then washed, and then highlighted in some of the like, areas there, and then in that area down there, you can see that it just really offsets it. It's really good. I want to need to highlight this grey area here. Um, this this also was Malaysia all gold, uh, washed with bad out black. As you can see, you've got the Astro Claw symbol. These are Forge World um, shoulder pads. There we go. So kind of gave him kind of like a smug look. It's like yeah, I've got I've got a sulk him. Look at me. Bases are really, really cool. I thought these were done. This is real shale uh, flint. This is real rock on here, which I painted. So <laughs> um, that, that turned out really well. And some static grass there. Uh, there's another guy here. 
chain, uh, chain fit. Ooh, camera's going a bit blurry. Uh, as you can see, you can see the edge highlighting with Mitchell Silver on the edges there. Followed at the bolt barrels, uh, the storm bolt barrels. Looks really good. And the base again, looking really, really good. These are essentially basic bodyguards to left here on. If we take him, uh, Land Raider or something, I don't know. Uh, the camera's going a bit weird. There we go. You can really see the gold. The gold effect is such a great gold. Um, yeah. Just run through the rest of these guys, I suppose. Chain first. Uh, this is kind of a captain, I suppose. I, I was going to do power streaks on the sword, but I could be bothered in the end. I still haven't finished some of the note papers on here and the edge highlighting on the guns. But that's pretty cool. Again, this is all real uh, stone, but it's been painted and then lightly shaded. Looks really good. Especially the gold. So he's got a similar sort of line to Chapter Master. The final one. There you go. So overall, they look they look pretty good. Imagine them all on the battlefield here. I loved here on here. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more, I promise. <laughs> Not like another year gap between us, but there we go. Anyway, see you again.